Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to see how you can compress videos so they can fit nice and easy on your computer or Mac. Let's dive in. Hey guys, have you ever had the issue where you're thinking, you know what, the video I shot is great, but it's just too big. It's absolutely too big. And now I don't know what to do because it's taking up too much hard drive space. It's taking up too much space on my computer and I just have to delete a bunch of videos or I can't use them. Or worse, your hard drive or your computer doesn't work as good because the videos are too big. Especially with 8K and 4K files, they can sometimes take up substantial amounts of space on your hard drive. That includes your phone, your tablet, or your desktop. So what do you do? A lot of people would say, hey, you just use something like Handbrake or just delete them or, you know, buy more space. But that can become costly. The easiest thing to do is to use UniConverter right here. And we can see it. Now, what this does is it has a bunch of different video projects and one that you can just go ahead and use. So whether you're working with 4K files, 8K files, HDR, whether you have specific things that you're working on, you can just go ahead and utilize it here. So you can see this gentleman here is working on multiple video projects. and he believes in less time, higher quality, and so do we. And if you're anything like me, you're shooting multiple videos all the time. You want them to look their best on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. But you don't want them to take up all of your space, which is understandable. And you can also see there's different ones here. They have different products and different things that you can use. So today we'll be taking a look at the Uniconverter Video Compressor. Now, what exactly does this do, you might ask? So as we can see, it's a compressor. It's exactly as it sounds. What it does is take those huge files that you have, 500 megabytes, you know, 200 megabytes, gigabytes, and it just takes it down to something manageable, like or 40 megabytes, 20 megabytes, something like that. And the reason we do that is, is so we can go ahead and manage the space. Now you might be asking, well, that sounds great, but I'm a little bit skeptical of one thing. Won't that harm my quality? Won't that make the video not look so great, to put it mildly? And the answer to that is no. Actually, no, it won't. It'll keep it'll retain the same quality. So you get to have your cake and eat it too. Meaning you can have the best video quality possible in a tune with having the smallest amount of space on your computer possible. And you can do this with bulk videos. So if you have 10 or 20 videos you just shot and you don't want to do them you know, one at a time, you can do that. Individual videos and it gives you the ultimate compression mode. So that's really, really nice. That's how it works in a nutshell. Save your hard drive space, retain your quality, and just enjoy shooting videos. It's AM powered footage released. And as we can see, a lot of people really do like this. Awesome customer reviews. People are excited for it. So simply, how do you get started? Well, you come to this try it for free right here. And then after you do that, you want to install it. So you'll just do some install prompts. You'll do a couple click through here. And then you'll see unit converter player right here. So I can go ahead and open it up here. As we can see it right here, you can see the different tools on the right hand side, converter, compressor, video editor, downloader, and the online tools. So I'm going to go for the compressor today. And you can use whichever ones you want, which is pretty cool. And you can also, you know, play around with the different things that they have on the homepage. So as we can see, this is on the homepage as this nice menu here, text to speech, screen recorder, you can record your screen, all that type of stuff. But let's focus on the compressor. You can also see it on the left hand side here. So I go to compressor here. Then it's as simple as click, add file, and that's the file, CDC. Then I hit compress here. You can actually see what it will compress it to. So I can actually see, hey, it'll go from 96 to 67 megabytes. That's a whole 30 megabytes I've saved. Boom. We just hit compressing and we can see the little lightning bolt going. It's like a little lightning bolt to save all of my space. And boom, it compresses super, super fast. Right now I'm talking. We are almost done. And boom. I would say, you know, nine, you would say like, well, 90 is not that big. Okay. We can do multiple files right here. Come to add files. Influencer Pepe. We can grab another one. Do this. This is a big one. And we hit compress all. And literally, it doesn't take that much time. We can see it compressing right here. It's not very resource intensive either, as you know, I'm running, you know, different things as well. 
and I'm using this. So it's almost done compressing one as we speak. So not only is it really easy to use as a nice user interface, it's super fast and boom, I've compressed one and then about to compress the other. I'm just sitting here waiting and then it's already over 50%. And keep in mind, this was a big video, 180 megabytes. Now it can get a lot bigger, but just to demonstrate here how fast this can really be, it can go super, super quick. You can compress it, spit, you know, save some time, move on with your day. You can see all the compressed files here. So that is how easy it is to use the uni converter compressor function. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope it saved you some space. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to know when I post more videos, questions or comments, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.